then you're going to put in your password. So you want to make that whatever you want it to be. All right. And then you're going to create your user. You're going to select all privileges because you want them to have all access to the site. And then another thing is, you do want to make sure that you write this all down. You want to make sure that you write down the name of your database down, and you want to make sure that you write down the entire thing, not just Stripe. You want to make sure that you want to write the whole thing. Um, and you also want to make sure that you have that password written down, so that way um, you can do that, because we're going to be using it later. All right, so now we're done with that. Awesome. We've got, um, we've got that done. So our database is set up. Now that we've got our files extracted, our database set up, we're going to go to the site itself. So open this up, and mine is at stripey.crewdesigngroup.com. And once you go there, you will see um, an, install, um, an installer. And this is Akiba's own installer, which is just, it's awesome because it really sets it up to make it so simple and it's very similar to way to the way you install your Joomla site so here we go we see everything is okay everything's yes 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 so we hit next right up here so it's going to do our database restore um, so here is where we're going to write in all that stuff that we had and so I'm going to type in my username And then I'm going to type in my password that I saved. And the name of my database. Okay. And then I'm going to hit next. And if I type that in okay, we should see that restore itself. Perfect. Processed. It's okay. And it'll take us to the next screen. And so then, this is very similar to your Joomla setup. You're then going to create a, um, oh, actually, this is for FTP. If you wanted to make an FTP, you could, but you actually don't even need to do this. And I honestly say just skip it. I never even deal with it. And there we go. Now it's finished. So your site's been configured, written to disk. All we have to do now is remove the installation folder um, inside of our cPanel folder. So. We're going to go back to our cPanel folders here, and we see installation right there, and we are just going to delete that. And there we go. We're going to go back to our page now, and we're going to get rid of the URL tag installation there, and there we go. There's our site. It's up. It's live. It's on this new server. It should be fully functioning, fully working. If I go to my back end, everything should be there. And um, uh, the nice thing is that everything is restored. Your set, your settings are the same. It's done. I mean, it's it's complete. It's finished. Really nice and easy. So, yeah, I definitely recommend a Kiba backup if you're going to do any of your Joomla backups. This is by far um, the easiest, the simplest, and it just does a great job for you. Um, once again, I'm Josh Miller with CrewDesigns.net and CrewDesignGroup.com. Uh, definitely be looking for more tutorials and more things on Joomla and CMS on uh, CrewDesignGroup.com. Thanks for watching.